who slammed through the front windows last month is now charged with drunk driving. Rosalind Rodriguez was nearly three times the legal limit. The damage still is not fixed, so when will that happen and who's going to pay the bill? Charles Benson is live at the War Memorial with the answers. Charles. And Mike, it's still a work in progress. Take a look, the large glass windows have yet to be replaced and the War Memorial is coming up to its most important date of the year and it wants to make sure everything is fixed by then. This is not a new exhibit under construction at the War Memorial Center. It's a work in progress area after a car smashed through the center's large glass window and became wedged in the middle of the stairs. We're really moving along quickly. Executive Director David Drent says the rush is on to make sure everything is repaired by Memorial Day. This had to be open and ready for Memorial Day um, because there's just a, there's a bunch of activity that happens down here. The cost is now estimated at $300,000. The $300,000 is that what you anticipated or is that higher and lower? I think it was I think it was higher. Um, again, there's a lot of floor work, a lot of terrazzo work and it's it's specialty work. The hope is to recover the cost from the person charged with drunk driving. But Rosalind Rodriguez wasn't home when we came knocking. For now, the War Memorial is thinking about adding large blocks of granite like this one to protect the front entrance. And have each, each piece tell a story, maybe individually about a conflict or, or a collective story. But I think it would enhance the you know, people's experience when they come up in front of the building. And for now, the county's insurance is covering the cost. On your side, live at the War Memorial Center, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Charles.